Look what I got. Good morning, family. It's your boy, Bishop, and we are back again with another video. Today is Halloween. And tonight we will be trick or treating with the Crazy Middles. We picking love up from school here in a little bit. But before we get into any of that, today's video is sponsored by Ann Sky E Bike. And we will be unboxing and giving away a new Ann Sky S700 today. Now, if you've been watching my lives, you know I've been talking about brand deals, e bikes, all sorts of things. But before we get into that, like I said, it's Halloween and I should probably do this right. I should be in costume when I do this unboxing. So, without no further ado. Hey, here we go. Hot dog man, Bishop, in full effect. So, I have the Ansky S700 on Halloween. Let's get this thing open. I'm giving it away to a special friend of mine. I know I look ridiculous right now. A special friend of mine. I know they're gonna get a lot of use out of this bike. They're gonna love it. But what I'm gonna do is test it for them. I wanna make sure that this bike is gonna be a perfect fit for them first. They don't know anything about it, so I'm not even gonna tell you guys who it is yet. Let me know in the comments if you think you may know on who I'm giving this bike to while we go through the process. But first off, let's break it out the box. Let's go. I thought I was gonna be able to keep this on, but I can't, I can't even take myself serious. Give me this. I tried. Happy Halloween though. Okay, <laughs> so when it comes to e-bikes, when you're purchasing one, there's a few different things you're looking for. And it all depends on what you're gonna be using this bike for. Um, if you're gonna use it as your day-to-day -day commuter, you're gonna be looking for certain things like long range. You wanna make sure the battery can get you to where you need to go and back home safely. When it comes to me, I like my bike to be a little fast and stylish. Uh, so I'm looking for a certain type of bike for myself. Other people, they wanna make sure this bike is compact. They don't have a lot of space for it. They may live in an apartment or they like to take the bike somewhere. So it needs to fit in their trunk. So foldable e-bikes. There's so many different types of bikes from you know mountain bike style e-bikes to cruiser style e-bikes. And then you have the foldable e-bikes. And right now we have a foldable e-bike. It's a step through. Now, when I was a kid, when I think of step through, I think of like, girl bikes it's a female bike because it does the pole doesn't go straight it dips through this bike is actually tough and rugged and it's not a female bike technically the step through is just designed to make it easier for you you don't have to bend your knees or reach all the way over there now with that being said for the person i'm giving this bike away to it's perfect they're not that tall so having to like hike their leg over the bike is just out of this out of the subject completely for them to be able to step through, perfect. It's gonna be a perfect bike for them. And, and the fact that, you know, the older we get, the harder it is to bend things. And we wanna make it easy. So just stepping on this thing is gonna be amazing. Next is the lightweight. These foldable e-bikes are very lightweight. Um, the fact that I want this person to be able to, be able to lift the bike in and out of their vehicle, which brings me as well. I know they have an SUV, so this should fit. For sure. If it fits in my trunk, it will fit in their vehicle. So I think this is gonna be perfect. We're gonna test that um, if you are a lady. And again, it doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl and you're buying this bike and you need to put this together. I wanna make sure it's easy for you to put together. I wanna make sure it's accessible for you. It makes your life just convenient. Um, I know that there's baskets you can put on here. We'll check that out too. There's a lot of things you wanna dive into. Let's go ahead and get it started. Man. But I just wanted to give you guys Ground level, again, if you have guesses on who it may be, let, let me know in the comments. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna push the, put this thing through the ringer a little bit, as much as I think this person will put it through the ringer, just to make sure it fits their quality. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Let's get this box up, see how easy it is for you to put together. Crack it open. Alright, the motto. Ride beyond discover freedom. Wow. Those are four amazing words that I like to put in when I, when I ride a bike. I feel like I'm, I'm riding beyond because I'm going further and faster than I've ever gone before on a regular bike. And I'm discovering different type of freedom because I'm in places that I've never been before on a bike, seeing things that you, you just can't, you can't take them in the same when you're in a car 
because you're moving too fast. A bike, you're taking in this environment and you get tired, hit the button. Pedal assist, just help you a little bit further. You can go further and faster, pedal assist. Makes you feel like a kid. Remember when you were riding a bike when you were a kid back in the day? Now I know a lot of us be like, ah, I can't do that anymore. That's where these things come in play. You feel like it's too much, pedal assist, hit the throttle, it'll get you there. You can take in nature and environment in a way you've never had before. I'm already seeing, man, look at this logo. That's amazing with the gold and the gray. I see keys, everything's wrapped up nice and tight. I'm excited. The seat is something I looked at online. It doesn't have like rear suspension, but the seat has its own like spring system. So when you hit bumps, it just kind of makes it a little bit better for you, which is amazing because bicycles don't have rear suspension, but this one does and it's a fat tire. I'm gonna fast forward this a little bit because this is boring. You don't want to hear and see none of this. Even when it comes down to specs on these e-bikes, they're all pretty much the same. You can look up any video and get specs. I want to show you what this bike does for you and how it will make you feel, um, as well as how easy it is, convenience, things like that. The numbers, sometimes they really don't matter. And if you watch a number of uh, you know videos on e-bikes, you would see that it's a lot of inconsistencies with motor sizes and or is it really that motor size and the, the controller and it's so many technical things you don't really care about. Once I get it together, I get on it, I hit the throttle, it shows me how fast it goes and all those good things and how safe I feel. That's what's important. The numbers, hey, they are what they are at this point. That's what I'm learning so far with e-bikes. You don't know until you get on it. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stone for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to make no time to waste. Running through it with the young influence, had a lesson presence. I'm succumbing to it. I've been giving yeses when I shouldn't do it. I complete ejected, but the moves are elusive and I'm barely moving. But I'm still gonna boost them. I can't work on winners when I know you're losing. So I work the winners and they throw the deuces. Guess I have to pivot, shooting no bazookas. For so, the yeah, it's Halloween. I got the pumpkin roll right here. Uh, yesterday was my first time trying it. I bought it at Fry's. Me, Mason, and Landon went to Fry's yesterday and I bought this uh, and I never had it. Lacey made fun of me for buying the store brand. Uh, she said it wasn't that great. I disagree. I had it yesterday. It was amazing. So, in light of that, we're gonna have a slice of pumpkin roll. But before, that amazing transition I was gonna pull off for you guys right here again. It's Halloween. Ha ha ha! It's Halloween, man. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have a slice of pumpkin roll. Uh, the bike's all together. I'm in the battery charge right now. The great thing that I can say is the charger has a fan on it. I can hear it. None of the other chargers I've had had a fan. And then the, the input, it looks like a, a XLR cable, like a microphone cable that I would normally use for doing audio. And that plugs right into there. And that's very unique compared to any other chargers I've had. So, let the battery charge. Installation was a breeze. I can say that. It was really only two or three things. The pedal, uh, the water bottle holder, and the front rack was the only things that I really had to install. Sliding the seat in really wasn't an installation and sliding in the end of ours, not really much there. Snapping off the, the zip ties, probably the most complicated thing. The only thing I can say is, the ins I didn't need the instructions, but I did decide to like look into them just to see what was in there. And <laughs> the instructions aren't the, the best. The rack isn't even in there. So I just wanted to verify I was putting it on right. I did go to YouTube and I found a video and I seen someone else with a rack. I seen different racks. There's baskets and racks. Now I figured you get bungee cables, you can hold some stuff on there. Right now it's not gonna be, I don't know, much you can hold. And I wouldn't recommend anyone sitting on here. Right now it says it's max capacity is what, like 13 kilograms or something like less than 30 pounds or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, I put the correct exact on the screen. But the four inch tires, amazing. I'm just gonna go over everything. What I'm amazed by 
the most. It has hydraulic brakes. And she hurry. Look at it. You can't do what? Look at that. Step through. Step through. Go way up. Step through. Suspension in the front. Yeah, man. The tires came aired up already. Ready to go. Sparks 700 by Ansky. Amazing. All right. I'm ready to take this bad boy for a spin. All right, before I do that, I got an outfit change. Because if I'm gonna ride this, there's only one person that can do it right. Because I'm about to shake it back. That's Ricky Bobby. We about to shake and make, man. We got this. <laughs> I know, right? It's amazing how I do it, how I make it happen. All right. I do want to hop on it, grab my helmet, go for a little ride. But when you buy a new bike, you need to make sure you buy it for your terrain. This bike in particular, I think it's perfect for the person in mind because they're just going to put it in their car, they're going to take it out of a nice park, they're going to ride around the lake, pave, and that's the most that I want to, I want to take care of. I want to make sure that it's easy for her. Okay. Here's the fun part, the numbers, what everybody wants to know. Like I mentioned before, the Ansky S700 is coming in at about $1,000. A little bit less with promo codes and discounts, I make sure to provide them below. Depending on what time it is that you're watching this video, things may change, maybe a little bit cheaper actually. Now, this is a 1200 watt bike, e-bike. To tell you the truth, you probably get up to 30 miles an hour is what they're pronouncing. And that all depends on a few different things like your weight the terrain, how full the battery is. There's a lot of things that determine that, but they are saying it will get you about 30 miles an hour. We'll put that to the test. If you're going to be pushing this bike at 30 miles an hour at max, it says you'll get about 45 miles range with that battery. If you're going to be doing a little bit of pedal assist, meaning helping the bike, pedaling a little bit some, not going top speed, it says you get up to 60 miles. Now, when you're doing a trip or you're making your rounds, you just, Calculate that in and I figure if you're somewhere in between there, you should be safe But I just want to test a few different things and that's the most important thing to me When it comes to like the capacity, it, looks, it says that the bike can hold up to 350 pounds So if, if you're a little bit bigger, this will hold you for sure. No problem at all um, I'm about 240 pounds 511 uh, I'll give you the information based off of that uh, if you're a little bit bigger just play those numbers into consideration. So when it comes down to like the other thing that I, I was most concerned with is the weight. Bike says about 72 pounds. As I mentioned, the person I'm talking in particular, pretty strong. She stays in the gym, this shouldn't be a problem at all. Maybe that'd be another part of the workout, lifting the bike in and out of a vehicle. 72 pounds for a lot of people is heavy. So uh, as well for yourself, take that in consideration. Are you able to lift that in and out of your car? And if you're not taking any of your cars, living in your garage, and you're taking it around town, that's not a problem for you at all. It makes it even easier. So next, I just want to check and see how much battery charge we actually got. Um, I would love to take it around a little bit. Again, it's Halloween. We have no trick or treat. I, I said I'm going to take a slice of this uh, pumpkin roll. I haven't did it yet. So while I'm doing that, pumpkin roll, charge up batteries. It's almost about the time to go pick love up from school. Then we're heading to the crazy middles. As always, wear a helmet when you're riding and protection gear. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get straight to it. In the meantime, I'm jump to this pump roll. Every time I pop out, they be screaming out like, whoa, 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 whoa. Lift that lever, seat falls up, allows you to put the battery on. That's pretty cool. Okay, so with no further ado, let's get out here and ride this thing, man. As you see, it's sitting next to an arsenal of amazing e-bikes. I'm blessed. Could you believe that six months ago, not even, um, I didn't have any type of electronic vehicle besides my skateboard, which was broken at the time and I fixed it. And I now have three e-bikes in my kitchen. That's amazing. It's only right for me to give one away. So. Before I give it away, I do need to take it for a little test ride. So let's go ahead and take it outside, take it for a little spin, go over some more specs and see what it's all about. Let's go. OK, 
Okay, first, before we even get started, I want to talk about a key selling point for me. It took me a second to figure this out, and this is the ignition. This is just starting up the bike. In order to even ride the bike, you have to have the key. The key goes in the battery. The, the key has to be turned a certain way in even order for the battery to work. So, with that being said, you lock it up, say someone breaks your lock, they hop on your bike and they ride off. They can pedal it away. Yeah, they can. They're just not gonna be able to just start it up and just go fast because, it, you know, it just don't work like that. It won't even work at all for them like a, a regular e-bike. This is, this is just gonna be a bicycle for them. And then by that point, hopefully you can catch up with them. So, yeah, man, that's a key selling point for me, for sure. But it took me a second. I was like, it's not working. You just gotta turn it on ignition. And the key stays in there. Once you have the key ignited, you can now see the battery level. Without the key being like in the start position, you can't see the battery level. The, the screen doesn't come on, nothing, nothing works. Nothing works. You see it blinked, it's mainly because it had a little battery life in it for a second. So once I turn the key, you can now see the battery level. And when I hit the ignition, the bike comes on. Without the key, you can't do any of that. Okay, so we also have adjustable forks in the front. They either lock off right here or full suspension. And I can tell when I was full suspension, I see how my headlights turn. It's supposed to be bent up, but when I was full suspension, it was kind of hitting that headlight time. So I'm gonna make a small adjustment over here if I can, just to tighten my suspension up a tad bit this way. I'm not like bottoming out. Let's see if I'm going the right way. That should do it. We'll try that out. Now, already the one thing I can say about this bike is it goes. You know, it's either stop or go. You, you need to hold on because it, it has some power to it. Um, I only have it in like pedal assist level two right now. And that thing took off on me. So we're gonna, we're gonna put it to the test. So right now the ride is smooth. If you can tell by these tires, I'm gonna run over everything. They're about the same size as the tires on my bigger bike. My other folding bike, the tires are much smaller. So this just lets you know, if she didn't want to go off-roading, hey, ain't nothing but a thing. It feels great, it feels comfortable. The seat feels great, handlebar position. I think she's gonna enjoy that. And again, the person that I'm giving this bike away to is a little bit shorter. I can say that. Now, I really believe these bike racks are gonna come in handy for her. And she's gonna love them. She better take stuff with her. You know, it, the possibilities are endless. If, if only they were strong enough to like hold a person, but they're not. I wouldn't even try that at all. As I mentioned before, I think the, the max on this one says like 13 kilograms. That's less than like 30 pounds. So, all right, right now, I only have it in pedal assist level one. But I think we're gonna take it up a notch or two. Take one last no one's around for you. I won't stop. No, 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 no. I won't stop. I won't stop. I won't stop. No, 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 no. I won't stop. I won't stop. Yeah. I'm so handsome. I'm so handsome. All in car, my zoom, my Benz, I'm so fancy. Yeah, I'm so fancy. Yeah. No romance. No romance. No romance. Got my baby and she right, she make you vanish No time to play, got book dates Had a plan, only had to wait Always knew I'd make a way Send a the bill, they send a the pay Keep it real, keep the record straight Keep it real, no time to fake Authentic in my own lane I ain't me till I'm in the grave Transcend, I got style So I'm here with the Ansky S700 at one of my newest favorite places. You've seen me here before in other vlogs. This spot reminds me of the same place that the person I'm giving this away to she tells me that she likes to walk and you know go for little runs at this park. And the park kind of looks like this. It, it, it's very similar. I just want to test it out on some of the trails, maybe take it off-road a little bit, test out the fat tires, test out the suspension, see how it feels. So far, I've ridden about a mile from my house. And I can tell you one thing for sure, this thing is fast. I got it up to about 32 miles an hour. I don't even know if they, you know, and not, I didn't do anything. I didn't unlock anything straight out the box. It does that. Um, and this, that's top speed where I got it up to. Uh, 
It's pretty awesome. The fact that it has turn signal and a horn, it's pretty awesome. Headlight, like you can take this out at night. I really want to test it at night um, when we go trick or treating tonight, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think I'll be too busy with the kids doing so much other stuff. So I will be taking it to my friend on Monday. Um, so I'll pack it up into the car. We're going to test it and see how it packs. Before we get into all that, let's go ride a little bit more. If I, if I like it too much, I may not even want to give it away. Right now, I'm, I'm having fun. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Okay, so with a 1200 watt motor, got me up to 32 miles an hour. Again, I'm about 240, 250 pounds, about 5'11". You do the math when it comes to yourself. This is perfect when it comes to speed. I doubt this person is going to be riding up and down trails at that, that speed. I don't think that's legal. But if you did want to go the same speed as traffic, if you're hitting on the streets like I do every once in a while, this will get you there. In a normal like, neighborhood street, residential, 30 miles an hour, 32 miles an hour, yeah, this will get you there for sure. Now, I did use the pedals a decent bit uh, in the beginning when I was just in first gear, and I actually enjoyed it. It just felt like a bicycle. I feel like if the battery died on this thing, you could just ride it like a bicycle um, and, and it just get you at least safely back to where you want to go. But if you did just want to get exercise as well, go a little bit further along with that, hit the pedal assist. Pedal one, two, up to five levels of pedal assist. Once you get the five, you don't need the pedals anymore. But one and two, you still get a nice workout in and you can go the distance. I definitely recommend this bike. Um, with the coupon code, you're coming in at about $1,000. So with all the other, everything else you're getting, like the rack, hydraulic brakes, 20 by four inch tires, come on, 1200 rods. I'm, talk, I'm talking about 32 miles an hour. That's for me, that's the selling point. I like to stand up when I ride bikes. Now these pedals did the trick. They fold, they're not as strong as some. If there was two things I upgraded on this bike, if I gave you two negative things, and this is just reaching, I would upgrade the pedals and I would upgrade the seat. I like us, I have a, you know, a wider bottom. I would want a wider, softer seat. That'd be perfect for me. Shannon would probably say the same. The pedals fold on this one, so it makes it fit easier to your car. So unless you get other folding pedals, upgraded them, maybe a challenge. So that's totally up to you. All right, let me go home before the kid, before, you know, everything gets crazy. I'm gonna go pick up love from school. Uh, we're heading to the crazy middles. We're going trick or treating and then Monday, I'll be giving this thing away. All right, let's go. Kason, you got my gloves. What are you gonna do with those? Oh, crap. Okay, good luck, go to the house. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Oh, what the? What the? What the? <laughs> I think that it looks like it's Christmas. It is like Christmas. Oh, it's not much. Call this today in class. Sorry. No, I'm trying to get a video of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why in this neighborhood is crazy the houses are amazing what's that my fur yeah it's my fur on the lens i just wanted to get us out of the house no time for what somebody's talking up okay guys it's time to go to work taking in the e-bike is the clues getting any closer? I gotta go to work to give it away. There's somebody that I work closely with. I see on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, that's how I'm saying right now. All right, let's put it in the trunk. Let's see how easy it is to get in the trunk. And I'm thinking about them. I'm thinking about, um, you know, how how hard or complicated it'd be for them to put it inside the car or not. Um, and again, they're stronger than me, probably. So let's see what it do. Okay, so on that ride, I went on. Are you serious? 
I went on 5.7, 5.7 miles, my lucky number. I couldn't make this stuff up, even if I tried. Full battery, that's, that's a round trip, that's from there and back home. 0.7, exactly. Um, I didn't do nothing to the battery, it's amazing. All right, so trick-or-treating the other day was amazing. I always love Halloween. Trick-or-treating is one of my favorite things to do when I was a kid. Um, Shelly's neighborhood, they just do it so great. It was, a, it was a, the best time ever. Love really enjoyed herself. So thank you to you and your neighborhood. Um, but yeah, let's get this bike in. The first thing that I do like to do is fold these pedals. If you notice, I already had this one kind of folded. You push it in like this, push and fold. I don't think she's going to have a problem with that. Pushing and folding. But you do have to be a little strong for it. It ain't too crazy. You get used to it. And they like the exercise, so maybe this whole thing will be a workout. There's just like a little mechanism right here. So you unlock this mechanism, pop that bad boy open. I just hit the little gooseneck. If you notice right here, this is the stand for the bike to sit on. Well, all right, we halfway in. I think it's better. No kickstand, it makes it a little bit more compact. And lastly, we got our gooseneck. Oh. Now, as I mentioned, the person I'm giving it to, they have an SUV. This should fit for them perfectly. So, my line is quoted 72 pounds. It's a nice workout. It's a nice workout for sure. All right, pedal folded back down. Let me get you back, All right? Get you in there. Folded. She in there, for the most part. Now, I think I had the issue with this before, and I had to like, I took the seat off. I was wondering, maybe I should have lowered the seat a little bit more before I put it in the car. So, I'm gonna take the seat off again. Make my life a little bit easier. And that's just in my vehicle. It probably would have fit perfectly if I let the seat down before. But, boom, um, compact. Now, if you stay in an apartment like me, you don't have space like that, you know, in your, where your kitchen table goes. You just be putting, <laughs> just be putting you know, bikes. You can fold it up, put it in a closet. It's compact. It'll definitely fit in the closet. No problem. All right, time for work. I'm so excited to go in today. Just love being able to give. It feels great being able to get back. Um, the more of these bikes I receive, the more I will give. And I'm so happy, so blessed that Sky reached out to me and asked me if I would review one of their bikes and show you guys. I think it's perfect. The step through technology, everything about it. It's amazing, it's comfortable. Get you one, that's all I can say at this point. Now let's go give it away. Okay, I'm here at work. And at this point, if you have been guessing and you guessed Mindy, you guessed correct. This bike is for Mindy. It's for Mindy. Mindy's amazing. Uh, she takes care of me. She's, she's Shelly's assistant, but she's also kind of like my assistant. She makes sure my life is easier. So, yeah, it's only, this is the first person I had to think of when I was seeing this bike. I have one for myself that I like to ride when I do stuff around the house. I have one I keep in the trunk, and that's something that Shannon might possibly ride. She doesn't like to ride too much. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Love has her own bike. The next one, this one goes to Mindy. Um, anyone else I think of that comes along, I'm pretty sure they'll get a bike also. So I'm trying to figure out how I should do this. I think I'm gonna take it out the trunk and put it in the garage possibly. Maybe just hide it over there and I'll find a way to like, just get Mindy to follow me into the garage for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> Wish me luck, see if I can do this. I don't know why I feel like I'm so sneaky right now. Birds, y'all being too loud, birds. Man, y'all trying to spread me, y'all. Damn, birds. All right, the garage is closed. Garage is closed. 
So maybe I'll find a way to come back out here and grab it. Or if we leave, that may be perfect. That may be perfect. All right, so there she is. Now, I really hope she enjoys this bike, which I know she will, because I enjoyed it. I had so much fun on it. Now I'm just gonna have even more fun giving it to her. Let's go. Yeah, man, it's in the garage. Ah, uh, the Christmas ornaments. Oh, oh, somebody closed the garage. How's it? Yeah. So, the box, I think they put it right out here somewhere. I think it's over there. I feel like we did just clean the garage out. It's like, this stuff. Oh my gosh. You got a new bike. A new bike? Yeah. Oh no. This is all yours. I got a little dirty. I had to test it out a little bit, but That's okay. I think I it's love it. so cute. I think it's Mindy proofed and approved. I tested it like Mindy would. It is so cute. Yeah, it's got brakes, hydraulic brakes. It goes fast, Mindy. Oh my god. Mindy, I got it up to 32 miles an hour. 32? I got it up to <laughs> Those are the that keys. Yeah, so you can like carry things. It's got a basket on the back. Yay! I absolutely love it. Mindy, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much. And it's like, a, it's so adjustable, like here and there, but I'm like, right. it has to be Mindy approved to the point where she doesn't have to lift her legs too much, get in there. Boom, right. you're right in there. Okay, perfect. And if the handlebars are too high, you can lower those with a little, yeah. 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 And this bounces a little bit and it's got a headlight and brake light and turn signals. What? Yeah. This is like... So you're out at night time, it's got a little horn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. I think she really loves it. Next, you just gotta take it off for a little spin. This is something I try to tell people, take slow. It is like riding a bike, but it, it goes. You have to be ready. You have to be ready for when you hit that, that pedal and, you, and when it's in one, especially when you're in five, you have to be ready for that, so. I do want to get her warmed up for that. We want to try and put it in her car so she can see how that feels with the folding. But other than that, yeah, it's an amazing bike. You guys check it out. I got a code down below, less than a thousand dollars. Till next time, I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Mindy, look at you, girl. <laughs> it, it is a big. It's got big tires. But it, at first, yeah, just ride it just like a regular bike. Not sure if it fits. Oh, Where's your helmet? And you can take the bottom part off. You don't want to, but I like to protect my face because yeah. it's beautiful. Okay. We're ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. Thank All you. Right. Yes, ma'am. Let's put it in the trunk.